What's up everybody, Nier here. Today I am going to teach you guys how to use the IK retargeting system within Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so the process of retargeting animations in Unreal Engine 5 is a little bit different than it is in Unreal Engine 4. Instead of being able to click any of these animations down here and then just retarget animation assets, so instead, you're going to have to use something called the IK retargeting system, which isn't really, it's not that much different, but it has its pros and cons. So the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to whatever folder you have the skeleton in for the character that you want to migrate the animations from. So for me, I'm going to be using this UE4 mannequin skeleton from the mocap basics, which you can get for free on the Epic Marketplace. We're just going to come down here and right click, and we're going to come up here to animation. And within animation, we're going to go to IK rig, and you're going to want to navigate to find the skeleton that you're looking for. I have like 15 of the individual mannequin skeletons, so it could get a little confusing, but I noticed that it says mocap right there, so this is the correct one. And I'm just going to name it mocap underscore IK rig, just so I know what it is. And then the second IK rig that I have is already made, it's for the man, so we're just going to open that up. And we're going to go back to the other IK rig, and we're going to open up that as well. So now we have them both right next to each other, but you'll notice that on the man, we have a bunch of chains over here. So the IK rigging system is mainly handled by chains and bone chains. So essentially your chains are going to be like your arms from your shoulder joint down to your hand would be one chain and then from like your head to your neck would be another one. But it's actually pretty simple and you can add as many chains as you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here to our new one and we're going to add six. So we're gonna name them head, arm underscore L, arm underscore R, leg underscore L, leg underscore R, and spine, just to match the other one down here. And from here, we just have to make our start bones and end bones the same as on this one. So for the head, we're gonna make the start bone the neck, and the end bone the head. And for the arm, we're gonna go clavicle underscore L, down to hand underscore L, arm R, we're gonna go clavicle under R, down to hand under R, thigh L, foot L, thigh R, foot R, and for the spine we're going to go spine underscore 01 and spine underscore 03. And that is all of our bone chains done, we'll just go ahead and save that now. And the last thing that we have to do on here is come up here to the pelvis bone and we right click and we go set retargeting root and we make sure that both of them are the same and they have the same retargeting root so that the animations don't get messed up. Now, I already have a folder filled with a bunch of individual retargeters. I don't know if there's a way that you can do this and merge all of them into one, but for right now, I just have an individual retargeter for each skeleton, and then I can, you know, pick which one I want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, come up here to animation, go to IK retargeter, now here, what we're going to want to do is pick the mocap rig, because that's the one that we want to retarget the animations from, and we'll name it mocap retargeter. We'll just double click this, and then we come in here, and for the target asset, we'll just go ahead and pick our man rig, and now we have both of them right here. And as you can see, we can go ahead and double click any of these animations that we want, and they retarget perfectly fine. And the last thing that you can do is you can just double click whichever one you want, click up here on export selected animations, and then pick the folder that you want to export to and click OK, and you'll be done. Another thing that you can do if you want the fingers to be animated as well is you can come in here and you can click add new chain and just add chains for all the individual fingers, um, and then make sure you come in here and do it for your other skeletons. That way the fingers will be animated as well, uh, but you don't have to do that, that's up to personal choice. And another thing is if you are trying to retarget animations from any of the Paragon characters from the Epic Game Store, it will crash your client if you try to retarget them. And I don't know if it has something to do with the skeleton, but I'm assuming so. So that is a very quick and very easy explanation of the IK retargeting system, and you can do this with mostly anything that uses the Unreal skeleton um, and shares the same skeleton, but it's very quick, very simple, and I hope this helped you guys out. We just hit 10,000 views, by the way, on the channel, so I really appreciate you guys' support. If you go ahead and drop me a like button, it really helps me and the channel out. But other than that, I will catch you guys later. Near out.